What's up everybody and welcome back to Eat What You Sell with Co. So in today's episode, I was really wanting to do another cabinet roulette episode, um, but I figured since Easter is around the corner, I really wanted to do another themed recipe because I really enjoyed the St. Patrick's Day recipe. So I got my little Easter ears going, I'm all themed out, ready to go. What I've decided to do for the Easter episode is vegan lentil shepherd's pie. So I can tell you I've never in my life had a shepherd's pie or like, yeah, I didn't even know what a freaking shepherd's pie was. So anyway, super excited to have you back with me. Um, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to me. Hit the big red subscribe below. Thank you. Alrighty, let's get this thing started. Okay, so today's episode comes from the website, The Spruce Eats. So I'll plug a link in that in the description below. Butter, vegan butter, salt, um, cayenne pepper, oregano, minced garlic. Guess what? I am not freaking mincing garlic from scratch. So I have this jar of garlic. So that's what I'm gonna use for the garlic. Soy milk, three large potatoes, an onion. And the recipe also so called for sage but I've never cooked with sage. The only thing I do have, I do have sage, but like it was burnt sage from trying to like sage the energies in the house. Somebody shot themselves in my guest room, previous family, not no one I know, but we have a lot of energy in this house. That's a little weird sometimes, but it's not scary actually. There's nothing bad in this house, but this is the sage that me and my stepdaughter burnt when we were trying to cleanse the house. I don't think I should cook with this sage because this doesn't seem like, the sage that you would cook I don't know so I guess it says fresh sage I didn't get fresh sage so I'm not putting sage in there just an FYI the other thing the recipe called for was lentils obviously since it's lentil shepherd pie but I didn't know what colored lentils I know there's like a bunch of different colored lentils and I'm not like that familiar with lentils so anyway because I didn't know what freaking color lentils um, I got like uh, I guess it's like a blend of lentils I'm adding nutritional yeast to the recipe. I think it does say somewhere in there like sprinkle nutritional yeast. So those are the ingredients guys. Okay you guys, reading the ingredients and the steps in this recipe, I'm realizing that they made this recipe for people that like know how to cook. So it wants you to like cook the potatoes and cook the lentils. So now I'm gonna have to pause this and look up how to cook potatoes. You know what, I can microwave them. That's how I normally make my big potatoes, but that's probably not like a healthy way of doing it. But it wants you to cook the potatoes and cook the lentils. I have no freaking idea how to cook the lentils. Three cups of water of broth. Stir in one cup of lentils. One cup, but I'm cooking more than a cup. Do you think it matters if you cook more than a cup? Is it still the same amount of time? Then it freaks you out and tells you make sure you don't eat them freaking raw. I've decided I'm not gonna half ass it and I'm gonna actually cook the potatoes how you're supposed to cook them. And I think you're just supposed to boil them in water, right? Is that how you make that? Alexa, how do you make mashed potatoes? Okay, for mashed potatoes, I recommend classic fluffy mashed potatoes. One hour, 30 minutes One hour? For boil with potatoes recipes, I recommend crash hot light. Why is she trying to trigger me to recipes? I don't want a freaking recipe. I want to know how to boil potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna call my sister and ask her. I'm sure she knows how to make a potato. Hello? Melissa. Yes? Hi. Hey, I have a question real quick. I'm in the middle of trying to do this recipe for the channel. How do you make, like, mashed potatoes? I chop them up and put them in a pan and boil them and then strain them and then mash them. You cut them before and you put... You put a whole potato in there. That's weird. Why? It's good, but it's... Because it would take forever. And do I take the skin? I don't want to take the skin off. Do I have to take the skin off? If you, you don't have to, just wash them. Okay, so how long do you have to boil them? I don't know, until they're soft. Okay, so. 20 minutes or so? 20 minutes? That's like forever. Okay. Oh my God. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Good luck. Okay, so I guess it's good I didn't do what I was going to do because I was just going to put them in their hole because I didn't know you had to like cut them up. I don't know how big you're supposed to make these pieces. She didn't really explain to me. People that actually know how to cook, probably if this is the first time you're watching one of my episodes, you're probably like, what the hell am I watching? <laughs> but I promise you, even though I don't know how to cook, you will still get a rating and review and like the full thing. I'm learning at the same time. 
Okay, so you guys know how I hate chopping onions or maybe if you're new to the channel like you don't know but I hate chopping onions like I'm not trying to cry I actually look I actually put on freaking eyeliner today not sure why since I'm in quarantine but whatever so anyways I remember I found a chopper in my last episode so I have to dice onions so I'm gonna use my freaking chopper so this should be fun okay this chopper is like really really small so hopefully this goes okay it Oh my god, am I setting my hair on fire? I don't know how to use this, so... Oh my god, okay. It says dice, though. Is that dicing it? That's like grinding it up. That's not dice, that's like... mince. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do that, so that was sucky. So, I have to freaking dice the tomatoes at tomatoes. You dice the onions Sorry. anyway. So, that's annoying. So, I'll probably lose all my eyeliner after this. Do they sell like already diced onions? I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that. If not, they should, because this sucks. I mean, first of all, look at this freaking cutting board. I definitely need a bigger cutting board. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. I'm crying. <sighs> I guess I'll put this gooey onion in there. Yay, one more freaking dish I have to wash unnecessarily. Of course, there's no paper towels anywhere right now, so cleaning up is a blast. You know, I still don't understand the toilet paper hoarding. I mean, I get it now, because now there's no freaking toilet paper anywhere. So if you happen to see toilet paper or paper towels, you better get it like it's freaking gold. And I bought these paper towels. This is the thinnest piece of crap I've ever seen. It's freaking see-through. And they're charging $2.50 per roll for this paper towel. What the hell? I mean, for real. You guys never sold paper towels in your brand before, not that I'm aware of. And then you're gonna charge $2.50 per roll and your rolls are freaking terrible. All right, so we got our onions chopped up. Okay, so now we're gonna cook the lentils. Wow, that's really like colorful and pretty. Look at this thing. So you're gonna boil the lentils just four minutes and then we have our potatoes boiling over here for an undetermined amount of time. Okay, I know this is weird times, but oh my gosh, I am enjoying everybody's like quarantine videos. I saw like um this old man Oh, I wouldn't say he's old. He's probably like Dave's age. <laughs> Anyways, I saw one this morning of a guy with his daughter and they're dancing to Bruno Mars and like doing a dance competition and I was cracking up. I was like, that dad is freaking awesome. Like how fun is that? And it totally made me miss my sister. <laughs> we did something when there wasn't freaking quarantine. We were just sitting there at the house, um, hanging out, having some cocktails and our onesies that my mom just bought us and we did. <laughs> We did a Gangnam video, so I was really, really missing my sister, hoping, wishing I had her. Really made me w miss my sister. I really wish I had her during the quarantine because I know that her and I would have some freaking fun and who knows what kind of crazy freaking videos <laughs> would be out there if I had my sister during quarantine. So it looks like the lentils and the potatoes are done boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain them. Oh my gosh, are they, they're going through the holes. Oh my no. Oh my God, they're going right through the holes. Okay, I'm gonna put paper towel down and hope that helps. Okay, now the paper towel is so freaking hot, I can't even grab the paper towel. I've lost a lot of lentils, guys. Unfortunately, lots of lentils have been lost from that excursion right there because the freaking holes in the strainer are too big. Why would they have strainer holes that big anyways? Why wouldn't they make the strainer hole smaller? Ugh. Strain the potatoes. Okay, so now we're gonna make mashed potatoes and ha, I'm so happy I have a freaking immersion blender and it has this whisker and if you remember the episode, the soup episode, the corn and basil, corn and basil chowder I think it was, I was like, why do I have a whisker? Like I'm never gonna use this whisker. I'm, I think you're gonna use it for mashed potatoes, right, wouldn't you? I think so, right? Yeah, I think you would beat them with a whisker, right? Beat it, beat it. So, I don't know. Unless you think I could just use that? Or you think I need to put the whisker on? Okay, so we're gonna have the milk. 
it says one half cup of milk to one cup, but I'm just gonna do like, I'll do like, I guess split it three, one, two thirds cup. But it says hot, but I'm not, oh my God, I just spilled it. Well, who knows how much milk's in here now? It just literally dumped everywhere. What the hell? So you're gonna add your milk, your butter, and your salt. So before you start mixing everything together and smashing everything up, um, preheat the oven at 400 degrees. And then I guess we're gonna try to beat it. I don't know if this is right, you guys, but. Oh my God. Okay, that's not how you freaking, that's not gonna work. Okay, look at what I found. Apparently I have this thing. I'm pretty sure that's to mash, right? Yep, that's, seems right. So I guess we're done mashing the potatoes. They look pretty good, they look creamy. So now it says to mash up the lentils. Okay, so now that we're done um, mincing, now that we're done mashing the lentils, it says to add um, the onion, the garlic, the oregano, and the sage if you're using sage, which I'm not using sage. That's not really diced onion because I was crying and I did not want to keep crying, but whatever. I'm probably gonna do a heaping teaspoon because, are you getting No, I love garlic. Okay. And it says a pinch of oregano, so I guess we're just gonna do like a little fancy pinch like this and sprinkle it in there. And then it says a dash of cayenne pepper, so who the hell knows what a dash is, but I'm just gonna sprinkle some cayenne pepper on there. All right. Well, that was freaking terrifying. My entire setup just fell to the ground. Okay, I just lost my entire freaking setup and it broke part of my, my tripod. Oh my God. Okay, so it says once you add all that stuff, you're just gonna mix it together. It says to lightly grease a baking a casserole dish or whatever, so I'm pretty sure this is a casserole dish, pretty sure. I'm gonna use olive oil to grease up the baking sheet right here. So you wanna put the mashed up lentils into the baking sheet. So you wanna make an even layer. Okay, so once you make an even layer of lentils, you're gonna wanna grab your mashed potatoes and also put that on top of the lentils in an even layer. Dave is gonna hate those chunks of onions, but I was over dicing onions, so he's gonna have to deal with it. Okay, it's really hard to keep that on top without it getting in the mixture, but whatever. I totally forgot to put the nutritional yeast when I was mashing the potatoes, so I'm just gonna put it on the top now. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I don't know if it will burn or what, I don't know. Here it is. All right, so now that we're done with the whole thing, now you're supposed to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. So let's do that now. Okay, so what it says now is to take it out of the oven and put it in a broil. You're gonna broil it for a couple minutes. I'm pretty sure the bottom part of the oven is a broil, right? I don't know. I just put it in the bottom part of the oven, so I think that that's a broil. I can tell you right now, I never once used the bottom part of my oven, not one time. But I think I remember my sister, she made burritos once and she would put it at the bottom of the oven for a broil. Okay, so I think we're done broiling, so I'm gonna pull it out of the broil -er. Okay, you guys, so here it is out of the oven. Looks pretty tasty. Let's put it on the plate. Ooh, it's all nice and steamy. Look at that steam coming off of that thing. So I'm gonna try it and let you know what I think. Okay, you guys, so, can I hit my teeth? Okay, 
you guys. So it's pretty good. Um, it's really intense on the onion. So if you don't like onion, you're not going to like this recipe. I have a feeling Dave's going to have an issue with the chunks of onions. So just make sure you dice up your onions. But the flavor, I don't even taste the garlic or the cayenne, which is kind of annoying. Like I maybe would put more seasoning in it next time a little heavier hand on the seasoning maybe add some smoked paprika to it i mean i've never had shepherd's pie before and i think it's pretty good we'll see what dave thinks when he gets home but in the meantime i'm gonna go take a plate of this and freaking eat it because i am starving and this has been a rough episode this has been a rough one. Oh, my bunny ears are falling I almost broke my cell phone, broke my, I did break the tripod again for the second time. Dave just fixed the leg on it and now I broke it again. But for you guys, it would probably be a lot easier. But for me, this was, this was actually freaking challenging. So I am going to go take this, go sit down, go watch a show and veg out until Dave gets home and then we'll get his review. Okay, you guys, Dave is home. So let's see what his thoughts are on, um, what is the name? Lentil. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Okay. Guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Dave is home, so let's see what his thoughts are on lentil shepherd's pie. Hi, dog. <laughs> what up in the jazz, a dummy? <laughs> hey! Oh, I forgot I'm wearing the bunny ears. What the hell? <laughs> it's my Easter oh, episode. I can't take you serious with those on. Why do I look cute? You always look cute, but... <laughs> <laughs> what do you really have an issue with these ears, oh huh? God. huh? What the hell is that? This is um lentil shepherd's pie. Shepherd. You have grease on your eyelid. <sighs> you have like, grease on your eyeball lid. Ooh, look at those pretty eyes. Look at those pretty oh, eyelashes. Look at his eyelashes, you Stop guys. It. They're not even fake like mine. I'm gonna start going through the back slider. It's lentil shepherd's pie. Shepherd's why? The only thing I don't think you're going to like about it, you know what, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say because it's going to give you a predisposed thought process. Oh Are you hungry? God, I was. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we were basing this on just appearance, even Stevie what Wonder would be this. I can't take you serious with those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes Peter. Cook and fail. <laughs> Watch me taste the food. And no, fail. what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me just take Get a spoon and put it on a plate. You <laughs> caveman. You didn't even get the good part. I can tell you right now you didn't get the good part. I could eat all of this and I probably wouldn't get the good part. Shut your mouth. I'm just kidding, you know. Damn. Yeah, I know. That's the part. The okay. So that's what I said. That's going to be the problem. What are you doing on the phone? I'm ordering Grubhub. That's actually really good. I don't like the big onions, but no, I actually like it. I know. I figured that's the case. And I don't even like that. There's too many onions. It's because I didn't dice them and I should have. I didn't realize that it was going to be so impactful. For some reason, I thought that they would disintegrate a little bit being baked, but they didn't. All right, Bugs Funny. So you like it? Do you like the underneath part too, or just the top? Or are you just gonna I, continue to you eat? You already them? know what my thing is. But the top. me, I don't like onions like that. Oh, I know, but no, you're not really... even eating the lentil part. You're eating only the mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you're supposed to dice the onion, but you know I have an issue cutting onions. My eyes start watering, and then I give up. And my cutting board's too small. They go flopping around all over the place. What did I do wrong? What do you mean? What'd you do right to get me? Oh, hell <laughs> no. What? Hell no. What do you mean? I drew the short straw. <gasps> <laughs> if the short straw equals success, then you definitely drew the short straw for me. Okay, sweetheart. So, it, what is your rating? Actually... If it wasn't for the, the taste is good, it would probably like a seven and a half, eight. Visually, that is high. Wow. Visually, it looks. What do you mean visually? Visually, it's beautiful. Look at that thing. <laughs> you're tripping. <laughs> All right. Professional chef raider. You're talking about visual and texture and presentation. Okay. So. The way things are going right now downtown seems that everybody has lost their jobs. I'm sure you can post online to look for an official taste tester. <laughs> culinary expertise mm -hmm. and then you can have them come right yeah they probably would they would probably help 
Okay, you guys, so we have our final ratings in. So Dave rated this one um, a seven and a half. The only thing he said he doesn't really like about it is the chunks of onion, and he did agree with me that it needs like heavier hand on the seasoning. I'm gonna rate it a seven. So this was super fun. Thank you for watching. If you guys cook it and you make any adjustments, let me know what you think. Let me know what you did that's different in the comments. And if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to me. Hit my circle of my face wherever I am on the screen. I hope everybody stays safe and stays healthy throughout this time. And I hope that even though all this chaos is going on, that everyone has a great Easter. And I look forward to next.